Well, I thought I would show the actual temperature outside. Uh, 100. Oh, it's it's down to a heat index of 101. So we've got a cold snap. In any case, um, I was talking about Digger Fitness a while back, and you know, and fitness is real important, especially when you're when you're not a child anymore. And God knows I'm not a child anymore. And this is the small number of, uh, well, this is not all of them, but <laughs> this is some of the exercise equipment. But the primary use, and I think the, of the ones you've seen, you've probably seen these most often, or at least that one, the silver one, the taller silver one there. Uh, that's the, the heavy uh, power twister that I've, uh, that you probably might have seen me bend, I think, four or five times to get my uh, personal best. Well, these other ones were the ones I used to build up to that, including this one. And this one was basically something you could get from Walmart. Uh, these are the basic uh, Chinese manufacturer, uh, small ones. Uh, I don't know, what are they, 13 kilograms, 13, something like that. They're, they're not very heavy. Uh, the one over here is 120 to 130 uh, uh, kg of resistance. Uh, this one is probably close to 90, 80, 90 to 100, and there are very one, various other ones there. In fact, uh, the only one that is that somewhat rivals that one for difficult to bend is this short one right here, the one that looks a little bit red at the bottom there. Those are very difficult. Now over here are the things you haven't seen. Uh, these are the equipment that I need to be using and that I will be using the next little bit. Uh, this is my elliptical, uh, which is a uh, I think it's Proform. That's the big elliptical company. There's more than one, but that's one of the biggest, and it's a 510E. And I hadn't used this in a long time because I managed to lose the power supply. I ordered a replacement power supply. Uh, so here's the here's the here's the new replacement I got. But this is the second replacement. The first replacement. Suddenly, I began to hear. I began to smell burning wires, and I unplugged it quickly. So obviously whoever I bought it from was selling either defective uh, power supplies or one that wasn't uh, voltage or voltage amp, et cetera, set for uh, this particular device. So that was a pain in the butt. But I got this one and it works fine now. So that was a, that was a, uh, an exciting thing. And it's, uh, there's no screws in this thing because I had to pop it loose, you know, to make sure that no wires were burnt or anything. It took weeks for that smell to go away and anyway uh, and this is a Schwinn Airdyne bike uh, it's basically a, uh, a a a dual a lower body and upper body workout because uh, these handles move back and forth as you as you pedal and you can you can raise your there we go you can raise the, your feet all the way off the pedal and use your arms so that makes it pretty cool and this you know it has uh, the usual thing gives you the time and gives you an incorrect uh, <laughs> calculation of the calories that you're burning because there's no way a machine can do that unless it takes together a whole lot more factors than just the energy you're putting forth using uh, that and I got something here called a uh, body blade and this is one of those uh, made for TV deals but it's one of those that has validity you actually you actually push it back and forth and it flexes this is a very big one I've had a, I've had a smaller one in my times and I might have a smaller one here somewhere I just don't know exactly where it's at so you know I just I was uh, I just showing this because uh, the probably the fitness level I'm in now is a lot due to the fact that I persistently go out and I do detecting in good weather or uh, weather where it's not a thousand degrees uh, almost daily and I used to skip lunch and fortunately during the rainy May we had I began to eat and I haven't taken that weight off yet so I still got about 13 or 14 residual pounds to get off and that's why I'm looking at these things and saying I'm going to take them out of mothballs and like I said I just did receive this the other day because I wanted to make sure it functioned and uh, I will be moving pretty soon so I'm not sure if both of these are going with me uh, more than likely it'll just be the Aerodyne bike because it'll, it'll work in much, much smaller area than the huge elliptical. If I can get back, you can actually see the difference in size here. The huge, huge elliptical and little Aerodyne bike. In any case, I just wanted to uh, say, you know, uh, you know uh, the, kind of, uh, the kind of exercise we get is very, very good. Uh, you know, I probably do, 
you know, uh, 60 to 100 deep bends, even in the short time I detect, which means bending down, digging, finding my target, trying to retrieve it or retrieving it successfully and getting up. So I've got that going for me. And then you just got to fact you're out there walking for an hour, two, three hours at a time. I don't do that, but I do know some of you on weekends do six, seven, eight plus hour hunts. Just my, boggles my mind. In any case, uh, I just wanted to say, you know, digger fitness is a thing you can do. And, you know, you get a few auxiliary tools like this because I'm not going to be riding a bike in this kind of weather. I'm not going to be running in this kind of weather. So the best I can hope for is a nice air conditioned breeze and probably an auxiliary helper fan and get myself together and try to get myself in shape for next season and try to look presentable. Uh, you know, upper, upper body strength is great. When I started using these, I think my chest was like 32 or 33. My chest is now 50. And that helps because my stomach has continued to grow. So the difference between my chest and my stomach makes me look fairly well when I'm, when I'm, when I'm pointing forward. But I still look like I'm pushing a wheelbarrow when I'm standing sideways. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. And uh, that was a lot of talking for no darn reason. I hope you find it uh, interesting. I'm going to go back out and hunt, even though we have KYOBI warnings. And that's what I call keep your old butt inside. But I never, I never been that smart. But I never, also never stress my limits. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. And you have a wonderful day.